Hi, my name is Justin McKee, also known as Cheesy Biscuit Man. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to install your audio library for Logic Pro 10 onto an external drive. It takes up a lot of space, especially if you want to download all of that additional content. It's about 36 gigabytes worth. Whatever the reason is, is uh, it's pretty simple to do and pretty quick. Not only that, I'm going to go a step further and show you how to reinstall it if you ever have to wipe your main drive, you can just pull those audio instruments back into Logic Pro without having to re-download it from the web. Let's go ahead and get started on installing it into an external drive. So you're going to want to go ahead and open up a finder window and just open up another one. You can go up here to file and open new finder window or you press command N. Up to you. Uh, you want to go to your main drive and then you're going to go to library application support. Now you should have a Logic and a GarageBand folder. They shouldn't have that little arrow there. I've already done this, that's why it looks like that. And then on your other one, you're going to want to go to where you're going to install it. The first thing you're going to want to do is copy your Logic and your GarageBand folder uh, to the external drive that you want to save it at. After it's transferred, you're going to go ahead and go up to the search bar over here and type in terminal. And then go ahead and just press in enter and it should open up a terminal window. After you've copied it, you still have the Logic and GarageBand folder. You're going to want to rename them like I've done with an old at the end of it. So what we're going to do is type in sudo and basically that says run this next command as the administrator. You're going to type in ln which stands for link space dash s which you guessed it stands for symbolic. So we're going to do another space after that. We're going to copy the folder that you moved to the external drive over here. So it inputs the path which for me is volumes, mac, raid, logic, and then logic which is the actual folder that a shortcut is going to be made to. And then where we want the shortcut to be written would be over here. So you would do a space after that and then drag this one over here and it should automatically put the path, erase the space at the end. And then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Press enter, it'll ask you for your admin password. So you type that in real quick and it would create a logic shortcut, but mine is already there. Then you would do the same thing for GarageBand. Now, the important thing to remember is that it has to be named GarageBand and Logic. So if you renamed it to old and you're dragging old up here, you have to delete the old from the path, or otherwise it'll, the shortcut will be named old and then Logic won't use it because it's not looking for Logic old, it's looking for Logic. After you get these two shortcuts created, Basically, you can open up Logic and all the audio instruments that you had will be loaded from the external drive, not the internal drive. Any additional content that you download and install will be installed to the external drive, not the original drive. Okay, so I had to wipe my original drive and whenever I put Logic back onto it, I was like, okay, I'll just rename the folders Logic and GarageBand, uh, just like I normally would, without opening up Logic Pro first. Whenever I did this, uh, I would open up Logic Pro, it would open just fine. Now, whenever I tried to open up the instrument library and select one of the instruments to load, it would completely crash. So uh, I closed it a couple times. It would either not load them at all or it would load them in the list and I clicked them and Logic would crash. And I did a lot of Googling and I couldn't figure out why it was doing this. So I took all the instruments out and I opened up Logic. I let it go through the basic and essentials install. And then after that, I re-added the instruments back and it worked just fine. So if you're having that issue after reinstalling Logic, just let it go through that 1.8 gigabyte install of the basic and essentials library and then after that go ahead and close it rename the logic and garage band folder again and it'll work just fine